Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing something from KiwiCo and I haven't opened this box yet because this is something new that I've never gotten before. It's actually a chemistry kit and it's available in the KiwiCo store. So it's not a subscription like that you would get every single month, but they have a store that has some different, I don't know if they're, they come in boxes. That's why I haven't opened it yet because I wanted it to show you what it looked like when it first got open. So I'm excited to get in it, into it with you. They were recently on sale for like 30% off. It was only for like a week. And so I bought one to try it out, to tell you what it's like and to experiment with my kids. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you curriculum ideas, like hopefully this will be today, and some different homeschooling ideas and organizational tips. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's open this box. So I have my scissors here, so we'll see if we can get in here. Like I said, I don't know if these come in the same types of bins that the other ones do, so I didn't want to open it without you guys seeing it. So it looks like they do. So this kit, I think it was around $50 without the 30% off. So it was just over 30, it was like 37-ish, I believe, with the discount. So it comes with two chemistry sets. So this is one of them. It has a little tree on there that you can grow crystals on. And then this is the other one. This one's heavy. <laughs> and this one's a colorful chemistry set. There were some for older age groups. There's There weren't very many options, like maybe three boxes you could get. And some of them were for younger ages. So this one's for three plus and then this one's for five plus. So that's what I got just cause that's what the age groups of my kids are about. You know, they're a little bit older than that, but that's where they are. And so I think there were a few, there was an option for like a teenager type box. So you could also get that. So I guess we'll open this one first and just see what we have here. If I can get it open, this might be tricky. It's like taped on here. How about should we just cut it off? <laughs> We're just gonna use these handy dandy scissors here because it doesn't slide out very easily because it's taped. Okay, so these are gonna be our little trees. When we have it, when we open it up, we can see it looks very much like a subscription box. And so I'm excited to do this with my kids. It looks a lot of fun. I don't know if it's similar to growing like the sugar crystal type things in the jars, you know, those hard rock candies. That's what this makes me think of. So we have our instructions per the use for them that they look pretty detailed and descriptive. So that looks very exciting. So there's those. And then in here we have some ammonium. There we go, and bluing. So, Something that is nice about this is a few years ago, I'd looked into doing some different chemistry projects and things like that. And it did require, I remember one of the ingredients was this bluing and I don't know exactly what it is. I'm not a chemist, but it was just, it was kind of expensive and you had to buy a big container of it. And I was, there was no way we were ever going to use that. So I just ended up not doing it. So the nice thing about this is that it comes with just the amount you need and you don't have all this bluing that you don't know what to do with. So that is one of the benefits of getting these crates. And then this looks like liquid watercolor and they're red and green and yellow. So we have that, we have a little beaker guy. And then, I don't know what these are, gloves maybe? They kind of look like gloves. And then felt pieces. So this must be what our crystals are all gonna grow on. And then this is the little base right there. And then we have some salt and a little dropper guy. And then, I don't know what this is for. <laughs> it's just a green piece of paper. And then this probably is to put everything on so it doesn't make a big mess because it's wax paper and they've sent these before in other boxes. And then a little stir, I'm guessing. So that's what's in this box, the first one for doing a crystal tree garden. So that looks very exciting. 
and I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> and I'm just excited. I don't have to go find all the ingredients to make it. So, so let's put that one aside here. Let's get it closed. And then we can look at our colorful chemistry. It says do it yourself. And this one is for three plus kids. So this one's for a little bit younger ages. If you have kids that are a little bit younger, you could do that. We're just chopping through this one again because that seems to be the easiest thing to do. So we're gonna take that off. Maybe. <laughs> this is difficult. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. This one does not wanna open. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. So that's what it looks like on the top. And this looks like it would be a fun one too for learning colors or talking about primary colors and things like that for mixing the different colors with younger children. So again, here is our little booklet right here. And then we have lots of cool stuff it looks like. Look at all of this in here. So we have a red mixture. So they're labeled on top probably for the colors you're supposed to put in them because there's one for yellow and one for blue. And then we have a whole bunch of different measuring devices right here. And there's a cute little spray bottle that we have. And then we have these little containers and there's a bunch of measuring spoons in here. So it looks like there's four of these maybe, several of them. And then we have a bunch of different things in here, holy cow. So we have like colored red powder, there's several of those, several of uh, blue, yellow, citric acid, lots of those. So we have a couple that have baking soda in them and we have this mat. So this is cool too, cause it, I don't know if I should open it right now. Should we? I don't know if I can get the tape off, but I will show it to you when we're all done. So it looks like it gives you spots. This says spray bottle, this says beaker to kind of place everything out. So maybe it's nice and organized. And then the last thing in here looks kind of like a, it's like a Venn diagram, but for mixing colors. So probably what do red and yellow make together and they have to figure it out. So that looks really cool. I feel like this one looks wonderful for young children learning colors. If you want to mix colors together, this would be an excellent box to get. And on their website, at least when I got this one, you could buy these separately as well. So if you wanted just this one to do colors with your kids, if that's kind of where you're at, then you could just buy this one. And I think it was like 24 ish dollars, somewhere around there. But I'm really excited to have my kids do these and to practice a little bit more with chemistry and just have something a little different to do with homeschool. So I'm gonna get at it with them eventually, not today, <laughs> and we will let you know how these all go. just finished our chemistry sets that we got from KiwiCo and they were a lot of fun. I have a few things I liked about them, a few things I didn't, and different recommendations I just wanted to share with you real quick. So this is the first one we did. This was colorful chemistry and I believe, I don't have the age range on here, but on the 
I think on the original purchase thing it showed age range for this and this was for younger, some younger kids and I think it is good for younger children because it has, it goes through a whole bunch of different color things. If you combine the colors and it has these here that you get to use as you experiment, they're all stuck together because <laughs> they're covered in water and like citric acid and stuff from experimenting. So you get to put these on and just see what happens when you mix colors. So I thought that was really good for young children to be able to mix the colors. Another thing that I thought was good with, with this one is just all the supplies that came with it. You really didn't need anything extra. It had a bunch of these trays, and so you could wash them out when you were done, but it also had plenty that you could just take a new one and put it for the next project, because there was several projects you could do with mixing colors. And then, so here's kind of an example here, and then obviously you'll see us experimenting with them. But then they also had ones with the beakers that you could put on, and then they had an art project, which I did think was really cool but I did not think it worked super well. Just because you try to get the powder all wet and then put the pitcher down and the pitcher would push through the water to the dry powder underneath. So then you just have a bunch of dry powder <laughs> stuck to your pitcher. So you kind of had to brush it off and it still turned out cool, but I don't think it worked as well as it was supposed to. So I don't know if we weren't doing it the right way or if that's just how it, how it works out. So this is, an example of one of those art projects. And the crate comes with a bunch of these cards. So then you can just stick this in here and have a fun little picture and a little card your kids could write in if you wanted. So there's a few different ones of these. Obviously you can tell which color came through the most, like a red and then kind of muddied color from the blue. And there's stars and then hearts. So I did think this was a really cool addition to the crate was having this craft that they could have as an extra thing for them to do. I don't know if I'd recommend buying this one from them just cause I think you could easily put something together like this yourself without buying the crate. But if you want something that's all in one, I feel like this would be a good option, especially for young children learning their colors and things like that. So that was the first one. The second one, I do think is worth it to buy. I thought it was really cool. So this was the Crystal Chemistry Garden. So that's the picture that they show. I'm gonna try to hold ours up. It's been several days and it has salt crystals all on it. So they're kind of falling apart, <laughs> but this is what it's, it looks like. So it starts out you know, with all the, the little foam pieces they get to put on. It has gloves and they can mix everything together and mix the colors and, it was just a really cool experiment and then they got to sit and watch it. So it took only a few hours for some of the crystals to start to appear. And then the next day and if the next day after that, so a couple days later, it was just full of salt crystals that were very colorful and it was a lot of fun for them to watch the progress of it every day. So I just thought this one was really cool and my son, I just let my son do it. This one is harder to do, I think, as a group because you have to put gloves on because you're coloring things and using bluing and ammonia. There's just a lot of different chemicals and highly dyed things that could <laughs> make your hands hurt or colorful. And so this one I just let him do and he did most of it all by himself. He set up the tree and put all the color on them and had a lot of fun doing that. So I don't think this is a good one for a huge group. My kids did enjoy watching him do it, but they didn't get to actually participate. Whereas the one with the colors, this one, all my kids participated and I thought it was great for a group because there's three different colors and you know, they have yellow, blue, and red. So each of them just took a color and so when it was their turn to pour it in, they did that and then my toddler just, they just kind of helped her and let her participate a little bit. So each of my kids got a color. So this one worked well for a group, but I don't think this one would work well for a group. And I think my son just enjoyed really doing it by himself. So the instructions are really great. It lets you, it tells you where to mix colors. It gives you some of the science behind everything or the chemistry, you know, still science, but, and it just gives you a lot of information. And again, since this one comes with like the bluing and the ammonia, if you don't want to buy large amounts of that stuff, cause sometimes that can just get expensive and you don't ever use it for anything else, then I think this is a really good kit. And Obviously the felt pieces are already cut out for you to create your little design like my son did here with the tree and all the bushes. 
Otherwise you'd have to cut that out and that would just be horrible. <laughs> so those are just my recommendations for these kits. I really love the Crystal Chemistry Garden and would highly recommend buying that if you want a child to have a little bit of a chemistry experience. And if you want to have some color activities for younger children and mixing colors, then I think the colorful chemistry is a good option as well. And so please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing these videos and we will see you next time.